Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we're going to be discussing what's called the adductor canal. And the adductor canal is really the next topic directly after discussing the femoral triangle, which was in the previous video. Now, I'm going to go to this slide real quick, even though this is not part of the adductor canal stuff. This is actually the femoral triangle. And I recommend that you go watch the video on this and learn a little bit about this uh, region because the adductor canal is really going to be more or less a continuation inferiorly of the femoral triangle. Okay? So if we looked at the boundaries of the femoral triangle, we had the inguinal ligament superiorly. And then the medial boundary of this was the adductor longus muscle, one of the adductor groups, muscles. And then the lateral border is the sartorius muscle. And if you look, as you get closer and closer to the inferior part of the triangle, of course the sartorius is going to move over the adductor longus. And the point where the sartorius moves over the adductor longus, that's the bottom of the femoral triangle, but it also marks really the start of the adductor canal, which moves inferiorly down toward the knee. All right, now a few other things before we get going. Uh, again, remember the blood supply that goes through the femoral triangle. So here's the common femoral artery that's descending downward. And remember that the common femoral artery is going to divide. If we go to this direction, this is actually going to be the profunda femoris artery. And remember that this artery only served the structures in the thigh, meaning it doesn't go past the thigh. Okay, so it terminates there and really just serves the muscles and so forth, like the quadriceps, hamstrings, and then the adductor muscles, or at least some of them. So if we want to get blood supply past the knee, or at least to the knee and then past it, uh, we can't use the profunda femoris artery. We have to use this other artery which descends even farther down. And this is actually just the femoral artery or sometimes called the superficial femoral artery. It's considered a continuation of the common femoral artery. Now notice that this femoral artery and the corresponding femoral vein are moving downwards toward the bottom of the femoral triangle. And there's gonna come a point uh, where they're going to exit the femoral triangle and actually enter what's called the adductor canal. And that's very important to understand. So now we need to talk about what is the adductor canal and then eventually talk about the boundaries. Now here we can actually see uh, a cross section of the thigh and we actually see the adductor canal. And at least at this level of the thigh where the cross section was taken, we can actually see it's a canal that runs between three muscles. We have the vastus medialis, which is a quadricep muscle, the sartorius, and then here's our adductor longus. And we can see here some nerves running through that. Here's a vein. This is probably the femoral vein. And then we've got this artery, which would be the superficial femoral artery or just femoral artery. So this is a canal that's created between the spaces of adjacent muscles, and it takes those vessels down ultimately to the popliteal region. So this is a cross-sectional view of it. And really what it is, is it's a fascial tunnel in the anterior thigh that allows passage for those vessels down to the popliteal fossa. But to really talk about the boundaries, we need to look at a different view. And so up here, at the very top, here's our inguinal ligament connecting the pubic tubercle to the anterior superior iliac spine. Of course, we know here's our femoral triangle. Okay, so it descends down right here and then goes back up here to the pubic tubercle. Now notice, femoral triangle is shown in dark purple here. Right here where the sartorius muscle, which is right here, crosses over the adductor longus muscle, this is the start of the adductor canal. So that's very important. The start of it is where the sartorius muscle passes over the adductor longus, which also happens to be pretty much where the femoral triangle ends inferiorly. So the adductor canal is really just a continuation of the inferior part of the femoral uh, triangle for the passage of those vessels downward. And this canal is going to move downward, 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 and it's going to end at a structure called the adductor hiatus. We'll look at a picture of what that is in a minute, but understand that the adductor hiatus is a hole, so to speak, in the tendon of the adductor magnus, not the longus. So the adductor magnus is a very large 
adductor muscle. It exists mostly posteriorly, uh, but it's still an adductor, and it has a hole in its tendon where it attaches to the femur. And through that hole is where those vessels are going to exit. In other words, those femoral vessels, femoral artery, the vein, and then also um, any associative nerves, they're going to exit the femoral triangle, they're going to enter the adductor canal, move through that canal, you know, between these muscles, right? And then eventually they're going to exit through that hole in the tendon of the adductor magnus. And that hole is called the adductor hiatus, okay? So to really get a feel for what that hiatus is, we need to look um, at the anatomy of the leg. Now again, uh, here we have our uh, inguinal ligament, okay? Again, pubic tubercle on this side, anterior superior iliac spine over here, and also descending down and medially from the anterior superior iliac spine, we have the sartorius muscle, the seat belt muscle, that's crossing over all these, okay? Now, in order to really see the adductor magnus, we're gonna have to remove the sartorius. So we have to go to this picture right here. So here's our rectus femoris muscle, vastus lateralis. This muscle, pretty big quad muscle, this is our vastus medialis. And then if we look right here, we can actually see a portion of the adductor magnus muscle. Again, this adductor muscle is mostly deep and it exists more posteriorly. In fact, parts of it actually function as a hamstring kind of muscle. Uh, but here's a portion of it. And what you'll notice is, is that if you look at the tendon, it has a hole right here. This hole in it where you can see these vessels crossing through, this is the adductor hiatus, okay? This is your adductor hiatus. So in other words, these vessels are moving down through the femoral triangle, and then probably right here, in fact, it is right here, this is where the opening of the adductor canal exists because this is where the sartorius would cross over the adductor longus muscle, and they go down this canal, right? And here's your tendon of the adductor magnus muscle, and then this hole right here would be the end of it, okay, where the adductor hiatus is. So hopefully that makes sense to you. All right. And so back to this picture, they move down the canal, go through the adductor hiatus, and when the femoral artery and vein exit the adductor hiatus, they change names. So now they are popliteal artery and popliteal vein, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. There's also some nerves that actually run through the adductor canal as well, uh, the saphenous nerve. And make sure you understand that this is not the saphenous vein or great saphenous vein. This is the saphenous nerve. And it's a cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve, and it accompanies uh, the femoral artery and vein uh, through this canal. And so, again, when it exits, it becomes the saphenous nerve, okay? And so, in some ways, you could consider of the adductor hiatus, the end of the thigh region. Once we get past this, we have to start talking about the anatomy of the knee, and then past that, the lower leg, the curl and sural areas, okay? So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of the adductor canal, its boundaries, and its components, and what it's used for. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.